So I got it all set up, working. I got the UI working, everything like that. Uh, what, what, what I did when I was gone, I, I set up a VLAN in PFSense. I segregated it with the firewall. I made it to where it can't talk to any of the VLANs on my network. And I've also uh, uh, set, set it up on the MDNS, the Avahi. I've, uh, I've set up the port on the Unify network switch, the 48 port switch. And I've assigned it a port. And I've also, um, uh, I've also uh, I I put the DHP server on the uh, VLAN, of course, and the PFSense. And I've signed it a static IP with the MAC address on the Xen board. And um, so, if you'd like to see all that set up uh, in each consecutive video, let, let me know in the comments. And I'll try to make a video for each one of those steps. And um, so, I'm going to get to uh, setting up the UI and getting it working. So I'm going to be unboxing it. Um, so they gave me a nice little card. Pretty neat. Okay. Um, it's got the power adapter in it. So it's got the power adapter and Got all the things for different countries, but I'm just doing what I need. And you just slide it on there. There we go. And then now, here's the Zima board actually. So I'm going to get a knife and get it open. the Zima board and then you pretty neat box and and it comes in a brown box now. it's one of those boxes that never ends <laughs> okay you got your user manual and here's the Zima board. I can actually get it out. And here's the Zima board. And Got your Ethernets and your USBs and your power. Pretty neat little setup. And then here the SATA cable or hard drive. So then here. And then you got your your stickers from Zima Board and Icebell. <laughs> it's pretty neat. So that's the unboxing of the Zima Board. So now I'm gonna get it installed and up and running. So I got it all set up, working. I got the UI working, everything like that. Uh, what, what, what I did when I was gone, I, I set up a VLAN in PFSense. I segregated it with the firewall. I made it to where it can't talk to any of the VLANs on my network. And I've also uh, uh, set, set it up on the MDNS, the Avahi. I've, 
I've set up the port on the Unify network switch, the 48 port switch, and I've assigned it a port, and I've also, um, uh, I've also uh, I I put the DHP server on the uh, VLAN, of course, and the PF sense, and I've signed it a static IP with the MAC address on the Xen board, and um, so if you'd like to see all that set up uh, in each consecutive video, I'll let me know in the comments, and I'll try to make a video for each one of those steps. And um, so I'm gonna get to uh, setting up the UI and getting it working. So once you get the UI up and running, and you can go to your IP now, and you can see Welcome to Casa OS. Let's create your account. So I'm gonna uh, press go. I'm gonna put in my username and I'm gonna put a password in. And I'm gonna say create. We are good to go and it's starting up. So now I've got the UI up and running. So you can go into your ter terminal and you can go to Casa OS. So the, uh, the default username and password is Casa OS. And I'm going to go in here and I'm going to just see if it can connect the internet. Oh. And it can. So that's one test done. So uh, you can also go in the logs and see what's happening too. I'm going to go up here and it looks like there is an update to do. So I'll look at doing that. And, um, it's got all the normal features, seems like. You can go in here and change your password and your name. And your widget settings. You can turn them off and on. And then you can go into your storage manager and see your hard drive. And you, you have your app store. So for some reason, I'm getting an error in the app store list. I'm not sure what that's about. So I'm going to have to update probably. So I'm going to go through the update process and update now. Just checking the architecture, making sure it's good. What I want to do here is I want to do a real world thing of me opening it up, getting it started, and trying to figure it out, and uh, and as I go. Okay, it's upgraded successfully. So, um, I'll put my password in. And you get an upgrade complete. And awesome Casa OS. There's different things on there for app stores. And then now I'll see the app store is up and running. So, if you get the app store error, you do need to update the Casa OS. And, um, it's looking like it's all up to date. So there we go. We got the app store working and you can restart, shut down everything from this one. And it's pretty neat. So another thing I saw, uh, another error that happened is after updating the Casa OS operating system, I went into app store and tried to install and it said not compatible for my system. So um, all I did, I was go over here and a restart and then once it restarted you have to refresh the page 
and then you put in your username and password and then you go back in the app store and it should be saying it's installable. So I'm gonna uh, install AdGuard Home just to see how it goes. And it looks like it's installing successfully. So I'll just do it in the background is starting up a Docker Compose. Um, and now it's downloading a new image. Okay, it's da it's downloaded the newer image now. So Okay, it should be down and should be good to go. And there you go. It started up and running. This is pretty neat. Thank you so much, Cost OS team, for sending me this Xen board. And, uh, and it was a really cool thing to get set up and r running and working. I did get a few errors, but they were solved with restarting the Xen board and updating it. So, uh, if you liked this uh, uh, unboxing and setup tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any uh, support uh, questions or you have any video suggestions, join our Big Bear community in our Discord. Um, so stay tuned for more.